TNA Final Resolution 2012 Kenny King versus Rob Van Dam for the X Division Championship. I'm not really expecting too much from this match. Um, I think RVD's kind of losing his step a little bit. Some of you may disagree, but I think if you've been watching RVD or wrestling in general for as long as I have, you will notice that he's he's getting older now and you're starting to notice it. Well, I am personally starting to notice it. I don't see him losing this match really because he's only had it like two months. It would be too soon in a lot of ways. Although I would like Kenny King to win this, I believe he should have won it originally instead of Zim Ion because I kind of prefer Kenny King's style to Zim Ion's. Um, yeah, I like Kenny King more than RVD as well in a lot of ways, even though I haven't seen much of Kenny King. Obviously, RVD is an established name and is quite famous and popular. But, you know, you've got to start creating new stars. You know, you've done it with Zim Ion, but then he lost it. He shouldn't have lost it when he did. I, I feel anyway, he should have beat RVD for that title. But there you go. Um, so, I want, Kenny, I want Kenny King to win this, but I think RVD is going to win. Matt Morgan and Jerry Ryan versus Chavo Guerrero and Hernandez for the Tag Team Championships. I think this will be an okay tag team match, but again, I'm not expecting too much really. Uh, Morgan, I've always felt, is quite generic in his style. Maybe that's why he left, to become a better wrestler and better at psychology. Um, but I always felt Matt Morgan was good at psychology. It was just his wrestling skills that were lacking. Uh, Jay Ryan is is quite good. Um, not the best they've got, but he's quite good at what he does. Uh, the tag team kind of reminds me of Kevin Nash and Shawn Michaels um, back in the day. But it's obviously not nowhere near as good as that. Um, you know, but that's kind of what it reminds me of. Um... You know, Chavo, Hernandez, they're, they're a pretty good tag team. They've got good chemistry. I don't see them losing these belts yet, and I don't really want them to lose yet. I want sort of Morgan and Joey to sort of work for it, you know, have a couple of other tag team matches before winning the belts. So I want Chavo and Hernandez to win, and I think they will win. Bully Ray versus Austin Aries. I'm expecting this to be one of the best matches of the night, without a doubt. Austin Aries, Bully Ray, both great at what they do. Definitely two of the best guys they've got in that company. Um, the last time these guys wrestled, uh, I, I felt like it was a classic match. It was really good. The psychology was brilliant. The wrestling was brilliant. And it was just an all-round really, really good match. Uh, Austin Aries picked up the victory last time these guys met. Um, it's very difficult to say who I think is going to win this because I kind of feel like Either guy doesn't really need the win. So I wouldn't be surprised if it ended in a no contest, like a double disqualification, double count out. You know, someone coming in, in and interfering. You know, I wouldn't be overly shocked if that happened, to be honest, because I don't... Either guy doesn't really need to win. Either guy, sorry, doesn't need to win. I'm going to say Bully Ray, because I would like him to go to the main event and actually win that world title someday. I really do. Austin Aries has been there, done it, and done it very well. Um, in my personal opinion, shouldn't have lost the title. Mickey James versus Tara for the Knockouts Championship. I think this will be a fairly decent match. Uh, Mickey James is good at what she does, but she's not the best. Uh, Tara, I believe, is a better wrestler than Mickey James. Um, uh, I want Tara to win this match personally. I kind of got the feeling Mickey's going to win because she's come back and it's like, oh, she's come back, let's make her happy. You know, that's basically what TNA do with guys that have not been there for a little while. Um, yeah, and, and she's just done a bit of a run at the minute, uh, Mickey James. So I kind of see Mickey winning, but I want Tara to win because she's only had the belt a couple of months. Aces and Eights versus Kurt Angle, Samoa Joe, Garrett Bischoff and Wes Briscoe in an eight-man tag team match. This storyline for me is dragging on a little bit. I, I feel like they should just, you know, finish it because it's just boring for me. It's not, you know, they come out every week and they attack someone else so they can go off and do a fishing program or World's Strongest Man. 
don't really care who wins this. I don't know, I feel like ACs and Eights might win because it just makes them look stronger. And I think if Wes does turn, which would this would be like the perfect opportunity and to stop treating people like fucking idiots as well. This would be like the perfect opportunity to, you know, reveal West Briscoe as being part of Aces and Eights. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna say, Aces and Eights. Christopher Daniels versus AJ Styles. Right, so a lot of people are moaning and complaining about this match, the fact that they're doing it one last time. I will agree to some extent that them saying it, that they're going to do it one last time, they shouldn't say, oh, one last time, they should just say, let's have a match. You know, so I kind of understand people to that degree, but you're not going to get a bad match. It's not going to be like, oh, that was a terrible wrestling match. You know, if anything, it'll be probably the match of the night. You know, and, and people are complaining about it. Like, oh, I don't want to see that again. Don't fucking watch it then. Yeah, simple as that, isn't it? You know, it's, that's, that's a simple answer, isn't it? You know? Um, I'm looking forward to this match, as I did the last time these guys had a match in Last Man Standing. I would like Daniels to win, because it seems like every time these guys wrestle, AJ wins. You know, and it's like Daniels constantly putting the guy over, which is not a bad thing. I mean, you know, I respect Daniels for that, if it's even Daniels choice. But, you know, it'd just be nice to see Daniels actually win a match against AJ Styles. You know, I'm sure he's won. He's, he's fair few, but, you know, I suppose in a lot of ways, um, AJ kind of needs to win a bit more because he's been on a bit of a losing streak lately. Um... But, you know, you think about it, it'd be kind of cool if AJ did lose and put Daniels over and AJ eventually turned heel again. I personally prefer AJ as a heel because, you know, even though the fans respond to him either way, really, but when he's a heel, he's just got a bit more personality, a bit more edge, a bit more attitude and just someone I can actually get into and enjoy watching a bit more. Um... So, on that basis, I'm going to say Daniels to win. Bobby Roode versus Jeff Hardy for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. I can quite honestly say right here, right now, that this match will not be as good as Turning Point or even Band for Glory. Band for Glory, as much as I don't like Jeff Hardy, yeah, was one of the best main events I've seen this year. Okay? And, yeah, that was partly to do with Jeff. Yeah, I'm not going to take nothing away from the guy, even though I don't like him. I think he's overrated, overpaid, but he's good for business. Okay, that's what it boils down to. Um, Austin Aries at Bound for Glory really impressed me a lot. Um, but obviously this isn't about that match. I was just saying that this is not going to be as good as that match. Um, this will be a good match. But I don't, it just be, to me, it just be like standard, just be a standard little match. It won't be nothing special. There won't be anything that you go, wow, that was really good. Um, but Bobby Roode is a brilliant wrestler. And I believe he's one of them guys that can pretty much have a good match with anybody. Um, I don't see Bobby winning this match because Jeff's only had the belt team ups, you know. And TNA are going are gonna to want to keep hit the belt on him just to keep him happy, keep him sweet, keep him in the company, you know, just, it, it's a bit crap, you know, the politics in TNA and the way they do business, but that's that's the way it goes, I suppose. So, I would like, I would really like Bobby Roode to win, but I think, I think Jeff Hardy's going to win. So once again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.